Hello fellow hustlers, this is Todd from New York and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use Code Wars and how to solve a challenge. So stay tuned. Okay, so for those of you who aren't familiar, Code Wars is basically a website that has different activities and challenges that you can try to solve in a given language that you are learning, be it Python, Ruby, C++. This website basically contains many different types of languages that you can do challenges for. And the good thing about this website is that once you solve a challenge successfully, then you can actually see many different types of results for that given challenge. And you begin to really pick up the syntax and semantics of the language that you're interested in learning. So I really like this website and I'm going to be using it for many, many months, perhaps years to come as I learn Ruby and other languages, hopefully in the future. So for this particular challenge, you have to create basically a class called Ghost. And you basically have to create a method called Color, as you can see down here by the dot color notation. And that method is going to generate one of four random colors, be it white or yellow, purple or red. So what I basically do is I go into my Sublime text editor and I, op I save the file as a Ruby file so I can get the color highlights that come with having a Ruby file. And let's say we'll call this ghost2.rb since I already have another file called ghost. And we're going to create a class called ghost, and obviously we're going to end it. And then we're going to create a method called color. We're going to end that too. Return a few times so that you have some space to work in. And we're going to create a variable, return color, let's call it. And we're going to create an array of different colors. For this particular activity, you have white, yellow, purple or red. So we're going to create an array of those colors. So this is white, this is yellow, this is red, and this is purple. Now you might want to make all of these lowercase just for the sake of consistency. It's usually best practices. So we've created this array and now what we're going to do is create a second array called random color and we're going to use the variable that we just created and draw a random sample of the array. So what this dot sample notation does is it basically randomly selects from the array you created one of the elements. So the only thing left that we need to do is return that element. So we will type return and then we will return random color since that is the variable that we created. Save the file. And then we're going to work outside of the class and ensure that the results are what we expect them to be. Now we want to produce a random color. So what we're going to do is first create a new ghost class. So this variable is ghost and this basically creates a completely new ghost. With, with, which has all of the different methods in, in a class that a class should have. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what the exercise wants us to do. We're going to call the ghost variable and we're going to apply the method to the ghost. So I'm going to type puts ghost.color. So save that. And the way you can test to see if your program is working properly is to do a command B on a Mac and it should produce a random color. And there you have it. There's purple. So how can we test this? Uh, well, we're going to first copy the code and we're going to paste it into your solution. And you'll notice at the bottom here there's something called your test cases. Now in Code Wars, you are expected to test your solution out through one of the given methods of testing that they provide here. 
obviously it says you can create your own, but I think it's okay if we use one of these. And I think for our purposes, it will be good if we can just select the assert equals test because that will be the easiest one to read for all of you newbies out there who aren't familiar with testing your program. So in the actual field over here, you're going to put what you think the actual result will be. And then in the expected field, you're going to put the expected value. So you're matching the actual value with the expected. So what this program is going to do, what this Code Wars, I guess, program is going to do is it's going to apply this test, this test algorithm to your solution and it's going to see if you did the program correctly. Ideally your program will match the specifications of the assignment or the challenge. So what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to put in parentheses we're going to put actually we're not going to use parentheses at all we're just going to put the colors white two pipe symbols which mean or and yellow make sure you use lowercase and we're going to continue as such with the different colors and purple all right and I think we will use parentheses after all because it will help us denote the expected value versus the actual value. So we'll create more parentheses here and we will do the same. You can actually just copy what you put in the actual field and paste that into the parentheses of the expected field. So this is our test. Our test is going to basically check to see if the results that we expect are the actual results. So will the program that I have written up here provide one of these random colors? That's what we're testing for. So I'm going to quickly run the test. And look, it says it passed. And then I'm going to submit my answer. And look, it says great. You passed all of, of the different tests. So you submit your final solution typically when you are finished with a challenge and then you get greeted with a page of amazing results of all of the different ways that you could have solved this particular challenge. And notice how a lot easier some of these particular challenges can be. So you can scroll down this page and see all of the different ways that we could have solved this particular challenge in Ruby. So it is really a wonderful tool for learning to program. I highly recommend the Code Wars. When you sign up, you do have to take a test to, I guess, assess your proficiency and your level of preparedness for Code Wars. But once you pass the test, you are able to access all of the different modules that they provide for the different programs. And you're good to go, basically. And you could use this website indefinitely and to help you basically learn to become a more fluent programmer. So uh, notice also that you can vote for the different solutions. You could vote as, uh, as best practices one of the solutions, meaning that the code that a particular user provided is probably the best way or the most common way of solving a particular challenge, in this case the ghost challenge that we just did. And you can also vote for cleverness, whether you thought a particular writing of code was really clever or ingenious, whether you thought the person was creative in solving the problem. So this is a really amazing tool. I really love the Code Wars, and I will be providing more solutions to the Code Wars as, as I progress through my video series here. So. In any event, thank you so much for watching this video. The Code Wars is an amazing resource and I highly recommend that you use it in your programming journey. If you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to contact me. Thanks so much.